Okay, this is part two of uh, the problems of solving system equations that are problems. And this problem starts like this. It's problem number three on my practice test for chapter six. Aaron and are on the school golf team. Aaron buys six cheap golf balls or expensive golf expensive ones for $12.50. Kevin buys four cheap and three expensive golf for $9. Write a system of equations and solve the pieces of the two kinds. Of, excuse me. It's a sum of equations and solve to find the prices of the two kinds of golf balls. So again, whenever I have sums of equations and whenever I'm writing equations, I've got to define the variables. So my two variables in this problem are going to be expensive golf balls and inexpensive golf balls. So I'm going to let E equal expensive golf balls. And C is just going to be cheap golf balls. So those are my two variables right there that I've defined. So if I look at the first part about Aaron, he has six cheap ones plus four expensive ones. And that's equal to $12.50. And Kevin buys four cheap golf balls and three expensive ones for $9. Now, a lot of my kids in my class want to try and multiply by decimals and fractions and stuff like that. And then all you get back in the new equations are decimals and fractions. I don't like multiplying by decimals and fractions. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both to get so I can eliminate one of my variables. And if I look, I look at this and I could eliminate both of them, I can see that my multiples of the coefficients of C are... The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12. So 12 is a multiple of both 6 and 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply one of the equations by a number to give me a positive 12c and the other equation by a number that's going to give me a negative 12c. And uh, if I do that, I'm just going to multiply my top equation by positive 2 and my bottom equation by negative 3. And I'll show you why. Because when I multiply 2 times 6c, I get 12c. When I multiply negative 3 by 4c, I get negative 12c. That positive and negative 12c are going to cancel each other out. And that's what I want when I'm trying to use elimination. So I'm going to rewrite the new equations after I multiply the whole equation by, by these two numbers, by these two integers. If I take 2 times the top equation, I get 12c plus 8e is equal to $25. And if I take negative 3 times the bottom equation, I get negative 12c minus 9e is equal to negative $27. Now when I combine them, my positive and negative 12c cancel out make 0. That's a big 0 right there. My 8e and my negative 9e, that's going to be negative 1e. 25 and negative 27 is negative two dollars. Well, if negative one e is equal to negative two dollars, that means e has got to be two dollars. So my expensive golf balls have to be two dollars. Now I've got to plug that two dollars back into either equation and find out how much my cheap golf balls are. So let's use the top equation, the original one I had here. I had six c, six c plus 4e is equal to 12.50. And I could have used either equation. I just picked the top one. And then if I put e as $2, I have 6c plus 4 times 2 is equal to 12.50. 6c plus 8 equals 12.50. Subtract 8 from each side. I get 6C is equal to $4.50. Divide both sides by 6. And I get my cheap golf balls are 75 cents. And that is how I do that problem. I'm going to do one more problem uh, for you, and then I'm going to have you guys, uh, hopefully that will help so you understand those a little bit better. My last problem I'm going to do is one, number four, the fourth word problem I had on my test review. And this one is, uh, to stay competitive, 
with a fast food restaurant restaurant across the street. The Pico de Gallo Restaurante offers a, a taco lunch special. Each plate has 80 cents has an 80 cents charge for beans, rice, and guacamole. It's a one-time charge. No matter how many tacos you get, you pay 80 cents for the beans, rice, and guacamole. And then each taco shell is going to cost 75 cents. Senora Taquita across the street charges 35 cents for the beans, rice, and guacamole, and 90 cents for each taco shell. So what it says is write, a, write an equation to show the total cost of lunch at each, each restaurant. Be sure to define your variables, then solve your system of equations. So my, my, two, equi my two variables, I'm going to have our cost, or C is going to be cost, and I'm going to let T be the number of tacos. Okay, those are the two variables. So at Pico de Gala, My cost is 80 cents that I have to pay one time for all the beans, the rice, and the guacamole. Plus, then I also pay 75 cents for each taco. So that's that cost for that one. At my other restaurant, which was Senora Taquitas, I don't know Spanish very well, but I'm doing my best. The cost there is 35 cents for the rice, guacamole, and, and, a, and a beans, and then it's 90 cents for each taco. So those are my two equations right there. They're both cost. C is equal to 80 plus 75T, and C is equal to 35 plus 90T. They're both equal to C. So since they're both equal to C, C is the same thing as both of those, I can set those two equations equal to each other and solve for how many tacos they would how many tacos would cost the same amount of money? So if I do that, I have 80 plus 75t is equal to 35 plus 90t. Okay, now let's solve for t. Find out how many tacos they, they have the same price. How many tacos you need to buy for them to be the same price. So I'll subtract 75 from both sides, 75t from both sides of the equation and I get 15 T over here plus I still have that 35 over here the positive and negative 75 T cancel each other out so I just have 80 so I'll subtract 35 from both sides and I have 45 and that's equal to 15 T I can divide both sides by 15 and I get T is equal to three tacos well three tacos okay so if three tacos is equal to three, so now to find the price, how much it would cost, whenever I solve a system of equations, I gotta find out what both variables are equal to. Not just the not just the tacos. I gotta find out how much that's gonna cost also. So my cost is 80 cents plus 75 times three, which is 80 cents plus 225, which is 305 cents, which is the same thing as three dollars and five cents so I have three tacos and three dollars and five cents and that's solving my system of equations to double check and make sure it would work over here if I put three in for t on the second equation the 35 plus 90t 90 times 3 is 270 270 plus 35 is also 305 so I'm gonna have a cost of 305 and three tacos and that is my second half of my systems of equations.